Hello guys, I recently arrived from Istanbul where I filmed quite a bit of material. And while I'm editing a video for you about it, I would like to save your time and use my example to show you how and where I edit my videos and how I make color correction for them. When I first started making videos, I didn't understand for a long time where I should edit the videos so that everything uh, would turn out quickly, simply and beautifully. But after a long time of trying different programs, I decided that I would edit in Final Cut, but then I ran in some nuances. Now I will tell you everything. Here I have several videos as an example. To make everything go quickly, I reassigned the blade function to the X bottom on my keyboard so I can quickly trim the video in different places. Next I do color correction. As you can see my clips were shot in slot 3 and need to be developed. I used to open this window. I entered custom LUT into the search and threw it twice on the clip. Firstly I selected the desired profile from Sony for slot 3. Then I choose some kind of LUT and threw it on the top. But here is what I didn't like. In Final Cut, a lot is always roughly applied to the video. It not only changes the colors but also adds contrast to the video. In DaVinci Resolve, the LUT is applied more smoothly and differently, but there the entire color correction process takes longer. For me, there is a lot of contrast here, so I go to Exposure and brighten the shadows. But you see what happens? The shadows are removed very roughly and the video turns out flat. Even highlights are difficult to adjust in Final Cut. In general, changing the exposure in the Final Cut turns out to be somewhat rude. Of course, you can remove this contrast by changing the saturation of the LUT, but then the colors of the LUT also become less saturated. I also love how grain looks in the video and I always had to separately place videos with grain on top of my videos. In general, I got tired of suffering like this and decided to find out how else I can color the video in Final Cut. And then I came across the Dehancer plugin. I decided to try it. Of course, to make it work on my old MacBook M1 2020, I had to update macOS and the version of Final Cut. But it was worth it because the Hanser made the color correction process so much easier for me. Besides, this is not such a heavy plugin, because even my old MacBook Air could handle it. In general, let's create a completely new project and I will show you how I create my videos now. Uploading the video to the track. Then I write the answer in the search bar. I double click on this plugin or simply drag it onto the video. And on the right a window opens with the plugin settings. The first thing I do is select my camera and LUT for S-Log3 conversion. There is also a small nuance here. I have already captured it and will quickly show it on the screenshots. Look. When I convert a slog tree through custom LUT from Sony website, it's converted to these colors. Everything is fine here. And when I convert a slog tree through the Hanser, I get these colors. Perhaps these colors are obtained when I choose my camera and this will be corrected in the future. Maybe I am doing something wrong, but in any case this is not noticeable after color correction. So after I converted the video to a slog tree, I change the exposure. Then I can change the white balance. Next I choose one of these profiles that I like and in the setting below I can play with it more precisely. Then I add a little contrast and below you can play with the scale. Let's also add some color and at this point you can reduce the highlights. You can also add or subtract the white point at these points. In the expand column you can also add a little contrast or lighten the highlights. In the print category you can leave everything as is and the effect will not change. Or you can choose one of the additional profiles from those and also play with it. I also like that in this plugin you can add a grain and I don't have to separately insert the grain video texture. Also below you can add halation. I rarely use this setting but it's nice to have it. You can also add a mist filter effect. And if you shoot on a full frame sensor then I advise you to choose 35mm setting. There are also settings such as film damage and film breeze, but I don't need them now. This is gate wave, I don't use this setting also. 
In the overscan item you can select different frames in the form uh, of a film and play with them. You can also add a vignette. I like that it's added very carefully. Here where is LUT generator you can even export LUT with all these settings. That's all my color correction. So I will definitely use it. I really like the Hanser because it solved all three of my problems with exposure, highlights and grain. In general, if you want to purchase this plugin, you can use my promo code JETSTUDIOS. It's uh, also written below the video and you will get 10% discount. This plugin can be used on Windows, macOS and Linux in programs like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Also, if you are a photographer, you can integrate this plugin into programs such as Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One and Affinity Photo. They even have a mobile application, which I have already downloaded too. Here you can edit photos or videos even on your mobile phone. There are many presets that emulate different films. And you can also modify these photos or videos in the editor. Here are the same fine film settings as in the Dehancer plugin in my Final Cut. This application is suitable for both amateurs and professionals. It's available for free, but all the capabilities of this application will be fully revealed when you subscribe to it. I advise everyone to try it. So if you still have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will go to prepare the next video for you. Thank you for your attention.